Hello, and welcome to another Worship Together Across the Diocese. It's great to be back with you. I'm Sam, and today we're going to look at another character that we might not have heard of, and I think it's a pretty tricky one today. But before we start, let's light our candle. So the Lord be with you and also with you. Well, today we're looking at a character in the Bible that's in the New Testament. And I wonder if you have ever heard of Cornelius. Now, Cornelius was a leader in the Roman army. And this is a story of Cornelius after Jesus had died and Paul was spreading the word of Jesus throughout the region. Now Cornelius knew God and he loved God and he lived there with a good life. But one day God spoke to Cornelius in a vision. We've heard, haven't we? Lots of people get visions and dreams from God. Well, Cornelius was one of them. And he said to Cornelius, I want you to go and find a person called Simon Peter and bring him back to your house. Now, Cornelius was a little bit puzzled about this because Cornelius was a Roman and Romans didn't really go and ask Jews because Simon Peter was a Jew to go and come to their house. But Cornelius got his men and sent them away because Simon Peter lived quite a long way away, sent them away to Simon Peter to find him. Now, I wonder what you think Simon Peter would have made of it. If someone had just come up to you and said, you need to come with me because my boss says you've got to go and see him. Oh, and by the way, he's a Roman and you're a Jew. I think Simon Peter might have thought, hmm, I'm not sure I'm going to do that. But do you know what happened? Not only did God send a vision to Cornelius, he also sent another one to Simon Peter. And so Simon Peter had a vision. And in that vision, he realised that God was asking him to do something a bit unusual and a bit strange and something that might feel a little bit uncomfortable. But he didn't really know what it was. So when these people turned up for Simon Peter and said, Simon Peter, you need to come now to meet my boss Cornelius. Simon Peter said, well, I will, because this is what God is telling me to do. This might feel a little bit odd. This might feel a little bit strange. I might be a little bit uncomfortable with it, but I know that God is calling me to do it. And so Simon Peter, the Jew, went to meet Cornelius, the Roman, in his house. And guess what? They had a great time together. And God blessed them. And God sent the Holy Spirit on Simon Peter and Cornelius. Now, what do you think that made Cornelius and Simon Peter think? Well, what they thought is that God clearly loves everybody. He loves Romans, he loves Jews, he loves old people and young people and rich people and poor people and people from all sorts of backgrounds and all sorts of ethnicities and he loves them all and he wants them all to live together and to learn from each other. And Simon Peter and Cornelius were so happy to have worked this out. Now I wonder if there are people that you don't really talk to, 
that might be a bit different from you, but that you think actually getting to know them might be good, might be fun. We might find we have quite a lot in common. Perhaps it might feel a little bit uncomfortable. Perhaps it might feel as though you're a little bit frightened to do it. But maybe it's a really, really good thing to do. Because we are called to be with each other and to include everybody and to love everybody. And God says he will bless that. So have a little think today. Are there people that you think, you know what? I'd like to get to know a bit better. They might not be people I hang around with. They might not be people that um, I go to school with even or live on my street. But actually, they're part of God's kingdom and we should all live together in that kingdom. So while we have a think about that, let us pray. Father God, we thank you for all the different types of people that you make. And we thank you that our life is better and richer and more full and happier and more diverse because of the whole range of people that you have put into this world. Help us to go out and to make friends and to be kind to everyone. And we ask, just as with Cornelius and Simon Peter, that you bless those friendships and that you make us all flourish together as one happy school and one happy class and one happy family. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I hope you have a good summer because it, it won't be very long now till you get there. And perhaps I'll see you sometime next year. Bye bye.